need that to have fun or to get girls or anything. You don't need it, bro. Good morning, everybody. It is 5.30 in the morning. And as usual, I did not sleep and we are at the airport flying back to LA. We got Mr. West in there, we got Jock, we got Kaisen, we got Misty Woman. Let's get it poppin'. I want some fish fillet. We got morning breakfast over here. Let's get right into it. This looks pretty good. We are in the airplane. Next stop, Los Angeles. Bye guys. What's going on guys? Um, we're back home, but literally we're beat. We're so tired, didn't sleep last night. I think my brother's still sleeping upstairs for the past three, four hours. I was editing the vlog that I posted for you guys. If you guys have not watched Atlanta Sneaker Con, go ahead and watch that. But um, let's check in with the fan bam. Mom's out somewhere. Where's Mama, Amy? She's at a fundraiser event. Okay, so apparently Mama G made an Instagram, which we will talk about later, guys. For right now, we will not discuss that. We will not discuss that issue. Anyways, how you doing, Evan? I'm good, how are you? So where are you going tonight? Why are you getting all dressed up? I'm going to a concert. Oh, yeah? Which concert? At the Festa and Sono Negro. All of a sudden concert. Shit, Siki, you guys hooked them up too? God damn, what is this? <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, they're going to a concert tonight, so hopefully we can get some insight or vlog footage from them but we'll see with that let's see if Emma's still sleeping come on why is he hugging a pink pillow Amy? That's what I'm trying to know. Good afternoon, beautiful people. How you guys are doing? Okay, so mama is looking pretty hot, don't you think? Red color, red lipstick, baby. Oh, anyhow, they are going to kill me. They are going to kill me if I'll say that. Anyhow, uh, we all we are going to a Atif Aslam and Sonu Nigam concert today. Usually, I don't do this type of things, but my daughter, beautiful daughter. Amen. Hi, baby. Hi. Uh, she requested me that she want to listen to Atif Aslam, and I said, mm, you know, what moms are for. Why are you looking at yourself and the whole entire time? Look into the lens. Director cuts. Just dropped off Mama G at the Atif Aslam and Sonu Nigam concert, and we are in Long Beach, so I said, might as well hit up the Long Beach Halal Wing Stop. I'm with Angie. And without a phone, I have to be with someone at all times because I don't like Not the only have... reason. No, it's good company. All right, guys, mm -hmm. let's go to Wingstop. Look at what Angie got me from Cancun. Some chips. Nice kid. I don't get to eat wings often, so it's time to dive in, baby. Usually we 
we get the cookie monster from this place, but we actually got, what did we get? Cookies and something. Cookie butter. Cookie butter, which is actually really good as well. So it's like ice cream inside of a donut. And now, it's Motiko or Khana Khana. Oh, fast Oh, fast Made in What's a day without boba? You guys know I love boba and Angie likes boba, so we got some honey, milk, green tea, something like that. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another segment of Ask the Mahmoods. Ask the Mahmood. Mahmood Mondays. Ask the Mahmoods. So, we have, we've been getting a lot of emails, guys. And, you know, if we find one, talk about it. And um, we'll go ahead and read the email, of course. We always keep these anonymous. Anonymous and confidential. Anonymous so, and confidential is key. So, read the email, my brother. Ahmed and Waji, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for making my day and giving me good advice throughout your video. I came here to ask you guys for advice and only choose you guys because I feel like you guys are good decision makers. Well, thank you so much. On to the subject. I want to ask advice on how to deal with my girlfriend that won't stop doing drugs. Because I don't want to talk about it with my parents or my friends because I would feel bad. I have no idea what to do or how to stop her. Can you guys please help me? And uh, I said, okay, this is going to be confidential. Okay, so the problem is that her, his girlfriend, his is, girlfriend doing drugs. is doing drugs. His girlfriend is doing drugs. I'm, okay. So let me, okay. Drugs, I'm assuming that these drugs are going to be hardcore drugs because since you guys are coming to us, these are not just recreational drugs. They might be hardcore abusive drugs. So what you need to know about drugs is, it's not, not only are you physically dependent on them, but you're mentally dependent on them. Some people think like, oh, uh, like you can just stop and like it's just like you want to feel good no it's just like how your brain is working your brain now requires it in order to function so that's why drugs are so scary and it's such a crazy thing that like you can't function without these drugs without like your brain won't go on forward so this so is a very delicate they're on the drugs? yeah they're dependent on the drugs and like you can't just like stop it because it's just it's like a whole crazy thing to it so, but I believe there's hope Yes, always. There's always hope and not all saying that they're not hope, but you have to understand how severe this is. So you can't just say, just stop it because you won't understand where they're coming from, okay? So I think the number one key thing is you have to have a supportive community around them. Like you can't, like they can't go back to environments where they do that drug. They can't be reasons why they do that drug. Like once you, if they, they need to first be able to stop themselves. They have to realize that what they're doing is wrong. They have to realize if what they're doing, the drug that they're doing is wrong. If they don't realize that, it's very hard to help So, uh, my man, I feel like you has, I'm not assuming if you've talked to her already about it. I'm pretty sure you have. But um, I would say is to find out the reason why she's doing those drugs to begin with. As in like what is missing? What is that void that she's trying to fill? Um, if she's doing it. Yeah. If she's doing it. So, I feel like if she, void. if she has a void or it's just what's the reason for it? Because for me and my ideology of drugs is like there's no... In, in terms of recreational use, like having fun, I do not believe in that. I feel like you can have fun without the need for an extra substance. So I feel like if it's just for having fun, that's... Yeah. You, no, like honestly, you can have fun without it. There's so much you can do in this life, in this world without drugs, which is crucial. Like figure out ways that you know she's happy, yeah. she can have fun without needing to do something yeah, like take that. Take her on a date. If, she, if it's because she wants to have fun, take her on a date if she has yeah, so much can't. fun and be like, look... There's no you drugs don't need involved. This. Exactly. You don't need this. Like, you exactly. Don't, you if don't. it's for fun use. I feel that also goes with alcohol for anybody out there or anything like that. You don't need that to have fun or to get girls or anything. You don't need it, bro. Like, trust me, people have this ideology like, oh, you need something to do this. But no, you don't. No. But if it's a case where she... It's like strong abuse. It's emotional or for stuff like that. Most then we'll you have to, I just... Honestly, she has to realize what she's doing wrong. That's number one key. So you mm -hmm. have to talk to her like, hey, what you're doing is not right. Number two, you have to cut out the triggers that require her to do these Stuff drugs. To get her away from that Exactly. So it's either environment, it's either a group of friends, or is it certain things 
that's what you got to take away the second of all third of all you just had to be so supportive like you have to be there like be there with her all the time yeah. don't let her feel lonely feel that you love her so much love her so much that you are there for her at all times that she doesn't need an extra substance that yeah. you're providing it for but her also i feel like if she's not responsive in that sense what you've told her say you do it all this say you've already done all this say you've already done all this this and now you talk to her boom boom boom, boom and she's still not responding to you i feel like in that case you have to take a step back and be like okay is this what I want? Is this the type of relationship I want? Is this the type of girl that I want to be with? And you have to let her know that. Communicate with her that you, what you're doing, I do not appreciate that. I do not like that. And if you continue on like this, you might have to take a step back and you have take to a step out of it. Too, you, you, you might have to take a step out of it and let her realize, oh, I'm making a mistake. I'm going to stop this so I can get him back. That might be a shock. That could be a shock enough guy, for so, her too, you know? Yeah. Maybe also a big enough shock for something. She gets so sick or if you leave her, that might, her, that yeah. might give you a chance so she can stop. I, I think we did pretty well. Yeah. In terms of this email. Exactly. So there are a lot more emails where we're going to be doing one at a time. Yeah. And on the description below, I'm going to set up an email just for this. So Questions. if you guys have any more advice or anything like that, and um, you know, ask them my moods. Mama G will probably interrupt here and there. Yeah, Luckily, Mama, we're gonna have interrupt. different guests, different type yeah. of views. Yeah. So let's see, man. Uh, hopefully, you're all well, and hopefully, that all works out. This advice is helpful. But ask the moods. Thank you, and come again. All right, guys. It's about time for me to head back to school. Um, this weekend was amazing. I actually did miss one class going on this trip, but think uh, hopefully I was able to make it up, got all the notes and whatnot. But I'm back into the routine. Shout out to everybody that's in school, on that routine, on that grind. Keep grinding. And from me to you, peace out.